Watch out, Bat! Sorry, Adji. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. Ted's asked me to go fishing with him, so I'm trying to deliver the post quickly. I didn't know you were a fisherman. <laughs> I'm not a very good one, but Jeff's lending me his fishing rod and Bill's giving me some bait. Well, have a good day, Pat. Bye, Ajay. Oh, left a bit, Ted. It's all right, Pumpkin. Ted's just come to mend your horse box, that's all. Hmm. Looks like one of the metal plates needs mending, Amy. How long will it take to fix, Ted? I'll have it back here in an hour or two. Then I'm going fishing with Pat. That's great. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> All right, Pumpkin. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with him today? He's fed up because he hasn't had his hay this morning. Oh, <laughs> poor Pumpkin. <laughs> He's putting on too much weight. He's got to eat a bit less. Whether he likes it or not. Morning, Charlie. Here's the post. Oh. Say thank you to your dad for lending me his fishing rod. Ha! No problem, Pat. He, he hasn't used it for years. Friend. Oh, mm -hmm. good morning, Amy. Mira, you're looking very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Reverend. Pumpkin's very hungry today. Sorry, Pumpkin. These roses are for a friend I'm visiting this afternoon. They're lovely. They grow best on a south-facing wall. <gasps> Pumpkin! <gasps> Boy! Mm. Oh dear! Oh, I'm so sorry, Reverend. Um, never mind, Amy. Uh, these things happen. Come on, Pumpkin. Mm. Let's go before you can do any more damage. Bye, Reverend. Oh. Hello, Pat. Hi, Mira. <laughs> What's the matter, mm. Pumpkin? <laughs> He's seen some apples. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, careful, Pumpkin! Come on, Pumpkin. Mm. You'll get tummy ache. There you are, Bill. Thanks, Pat. Here's your fishing bait. There's some nice, fat, wriggly worms in there. Oh, that's great. Bye. This is fun. Goodbye, Pumpkin. I don't think he likes the sound of water, Amy. Maybe you're right. He's never been keen on water. Down you get, Mira. <laughs> we'll walk Pumpkin past the river, then he can get back on again. Come on, Pumpkin. Good boy. Walk on. Hello, Amy. Hi, Mira. <laughs> Hello, Pat. <laughs> Hello, Jess. <laughs> What's the matter with Pumpkin? Oh, he's grumpy today. When he's like this, he just won't move until he gets what he wants. Oh, dear. Is there anything I can do to help? Afraid not, Pat. I'm sorry, Mira, but I think we're going to have to finish <gasps> our ride. Oh! <laughs> There's nothing else for it. I'll have to go and fetch his horse box. <laughs> oh, but I can't. Ted's mending it. <laughs> I'm going to Ted's next. I'll give him the message if you want. Thanks, Pat. Could you ask him to pick us up here with the horse box? No problem. Bye. Thanks, Pat.
I must have left me blowtorch in the workshop. Ted! Hello, Ted! Ted! Oh, he's not here, Jess. Ted! Ted! Hmm. Well, I suppose I could take the horse box to Amy. I'll leave Ted a note to tell him what we've done. Right, let's shut this door. Come on, Jess. We haven't got time for games. Hey, oh! We'll come back and pick up the post van once we've taken Pumpkin home. Hey, stop! Stop! I haven't fixed the tow bar. It's not safe to drive. Whoa! Hey, stop it! Whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. What was that? Oh no, Jess! The horse box has come loose! Hey, oh! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Hang on! I can't hear the engine! My heck! The horse box must have come loose! Anybody there? Yeah. Hold on tight, Jess. We've got to catch up with that horse box. Help! Help! Oof. Oof. Oh dear! My heck! Oof. Oh dear! Here, hang on. Oof. Driver? Help! Let me out! <gasps> oh. Oh. Ted! Ah! Oh dear! Oh. Are you all right, Ted? Oh, I think so, Amy. I was fixing your horse box when somebody drove off with me inside. <laughs> It was quite a ride. <laughs> oh, there it is. Are you all right, Mira? Yes. Is anybody hurt? Hi, Pat. Amy? Hello, Pat. Ted? Hi. I was inside the horse box. You drove off while I was fixing it. Oh, no. Didn't you hear me calling you? <laughs> I can't hear anything when I've got my earmuffs on. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm done, Pat. 
Except we still can't take Pumpkin home. The horse box isn't mended. Don't worry, Amy. It soon will be. I've got me tools with me. Pumpkin. Time to go home. <laughs> oh, I've never known him be so naughty. <sighs> Maybe he'd like an apple. Come on, Pumpkin. <laughs> Let's try pulling him in. <laughs> right, Pat. Pull! <laughs> oh. <sighs> Come on. Meow. <sighs> Keep going. <sighs> oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. What are we going to do? Oh, we could be here all night. All done, Amy. You can take Pumpkin home now. I wish I could, Ted. Where shall I put this? <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> All your horses, Pumpkin. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ted. Are you ready to go fishing? <laughs> Aye, but I think I'll ride in the front this time. I've had enough of horse boxes to last me a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, now I'm late oh. for work at the cafe. Wow. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, love. Morning, Julian. <coughs> oh, morning, Dad. Oh, dear. Sounds like you've got a bad cold. I wonder if you should stay at home today. I, I can't. You've got to go to work, Dad. Well, not if you're ill. I could ring Mrs Goggins and tell her I need to stay at home to look after you. Oh? Really? Yes, but only if you really are too poorly to go to school. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm definitely too poorly. All right. I'll give Mrs Goggins a ring and call the cafe to let your mum know. Meow. 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 We won't be needing the post bag today, Jess. We're staying at home to look after Julian. Meow. Meow. Oh, don't you worry, Pat. There's only a few letters today, so I'll deliver them for you. I hope we Julian is feeling better soon. <laughs> Cheerio, Pat. Oh, Bonnie. I've got post to deliver. Now, where did I put my old post hat? <coughs> oh, it'll be just like old times. Out you go and play, Bonnie. <coughs> oh, can't I sit on the sofa and watch television? No. If you're feeling ill, the best place for you is in bed. Ah, uh, hmm. I'll leave you to get some rest, but if you need anything, just ring that bell and I'll come straight up. Thanks, Dad. Meow. 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 I can't play with you, Jess. I'm supposed to be ill, remember? Meow. Meow. Oh. Mm. Oh, 
this is boring. What is it, Julian? Are you OK? Uh, could you bring me my comic book, please, Dad? Yes, yes, of course. Meow? <laughs> Being ill is fun. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Looking for someone to play with? <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I've got lots of poorly animals to see today. <laughs> Hello there, Jess. Strange not to be delivering the post, isn't it? <laughs> Coming, Julian. <laughs> You come to see how I'm getting on? No, no, no. I've no time to play, Bonnie. Oh, stop it, Bonnie. You're making me dizzy. Oh, oh. oh. Dizzy me. Julian, I thought you might be thirsty. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. <coughs> They're looking much better, Alf. I think they'll be fine now. Thanks, Amy. Hey, I do worry about me sheep. Me sheep, Maisie, Bessie, Mabel. What on earth's got into you, Bonnie? It's naughty to scare sheep like that. Are you still looking for someone to play with? Sorry, Bonnie. Maybe we could play later. Bye, Alf. Bye. Got to go, Bonnie. Mabel. Scream! Eh? Oh, uh, I mean, thanks, Dad. That'll make my sore throat feel much better. It's 
dangerous to play in the road. You could have been hurt. Come on. I'll take you home. What is it, Bonnie? You want me to follow you? Jess? Is that you? Well done, Bonnie. Don't worry, Jess. We'll soon get you out of there. Meow, meow. Stay with Jess, Bonnie. I'll be right back. Meow, meow. I'm coming, Jess. It's okay, Jess. I'm here now. Let's take a look, eh? Meow! 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 Hmm. Looks like a broken leg. First things first, Jess. I'll give you some medicine for the pain. Then we'll get you out of here, eh? Meow! Mum! Oh. Hello, sweetheart. I left work early to make sure you're all right. How are you feeling now? Oh, uh, a lot better, Mum. Oh, Pat, you don't look so good. I'm fine. <coughs> Just a bit tired, love. Um, is Jess up here with you? Uh, no. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, dear. I wonder where he is. We're almost there. How are you doing in there, Jess? Let's get you to the surgery and get that leg fixed, eh? Hello, Amy. What? Jess is hurt. <gasps> Oh, no. Yes, we'll be there immediately. Mum? What's happened to Jess? He fell down a hole and hurt his leg. He's at the surgery. I'll go straight there. Oh, Dad, it's my fault. If you hadn't been looking after me, Jess wouldn't have wandered off and he'd be OK. You can't help being ill, Julian. Your dad's right, love. But... but... but I'm not ill. Oh! I was at first, then I felt better. But it was kind of fun, so I pretended. Julian! And now Jess is the one that's really ill, and it's my fault because Dad's been running round after me. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll talk about this later. Let's go. It's OK, Jess. I'm just checking to see if you've broken any more bones. Yep. That leg is definitely broken. But we'll have it fixed in no time. I'll get it bandaged for you. I'm so sorry, Jess. Is Jess going to be OK, Amy? Yes. He'll need lots of care and attention, but he'll soon be back on his feet. I promise I'll take extra care of you, Jess. I can't thank you enough, Amy. It's Bonnie you should thank. I couldn't have found Jess without her. Meow. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get Bonnie and Jess home. <coughs> I think you need to get home too, Pat. 
You sound as if you're getting a cold. <coughs> I'm feeling a bit thirsty, Jess. What about you? Meow. Keep up the good work, Julian. Yes, Dad. Meow. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Isn't it hot? Aye, it is. You have a lot to carry on such a sunny day. I'll be all right, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, and there's a special delivery for Adji. Hmm. I wonder what's in it. Children's... Mum! 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 Is there any ice cream? We're ever so hot! <laughs> no, darlings, not now. I'm too busy. And ice creams are for special treats anyway. Oh, oh Mum! Uh, sorry, but I'm sorting through all this clothing for the charity sale. Nisha's expecting it before lunchtime. Now, where's that other bag? Come on, Tom. Let's help Mum tidy up. Surprise! Oh, no, I just sorted all that out. I'll have to start again now. Oh, I'm sorry, darlings. I know you were trying to help, but this is a job for grown-ups, not children. But, Mum... Now, off you go and let me get on. <sighs> I bet other people would be really pleased if we went and helped them. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. This scarf smells of sheep. Come on, come on. Morning, Elf. Everything all right? Morning, Pat. Nay, me neck's all cold. Really? But it's a hot day. Aye, but there's a wind up here, Pat. I haven't got my scarf, see. Dorothy gave it to the charity sale. Oh, dear. Well, I hope the wind dies down. <coughs> See you later. <coughs> Thanks, Pat. Bye. Right, there's just Rosie to feed and then I've finished. Now, where's she gone? Oh, aye. Uh, can you hold this steady? Yeah. Up a bit. <sighs> no. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Glenn. It's all right. I think you have to be a bit bigger before you can help with this sort of thing. That's what Mum says. Oh, before I forget, can you give this to your mum? I said she could have it for the charity sale. Yes. Thanks, Ted. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> hey, oh, looks like Rosie's escaped again. What's she got there? Hey! Rosie! Come on. <laughs> Morning, Amy. Parcel for you. Hello, Pat. Thanks. Oh, great! My new sunglasses. Oh. My old ones were really scratched. What do you think? Very nice. Bye, Amy. Bye, Pat. <laughs> What are you doing, Ajay? Mending train, Tom. But I'm waiting for a spare part to come in post. Can we help? Aye, if you like. You can pass me that big wrench, please. Um... No. That's pliers. 
The wrench. No, not the screwdriver. No, that's... that's the big... Oh, no! No, no! You leave them there. It's dangerous for children to go on their track. I'll get them. Sorry, Ajay. Hey, don't worry. It's my fault. Mending engines is for grown-ups. Yeah. We should have known. <sighs> ah, there you are, Pat. Have you got a parcel for me? Meow. It's the spare part for the rocket. Yes, I... That's funny. Where's it gone? It was there earlier. I've lost it. Oh, no! The rocket won't go without that new part, Matt. Oh, it's not fair. Why doesn't anyone want us to help? It's because we're too small. Look. Huh? There's Rosie. She must have escaped again. Let's catch her. At least that'd be helping. Rosie! Ow! Oh, I bet that was another job for grown-ups. Hi there, you two. Do you want to come and help? Yes, please. What shall we do? Well, you can fill Pumpkin's water bucket if you like. OK. Never mind. Perhaps that was grown-up work. Why don't you come and stroke Pumpkin instead? He loves that. Everyone treats us as if we're just kids. OK, kids. I've got to go on my rounds now. But you're welcome to stay a while with Pumpkin if you like. Bye. Bye, Thanks, Amy. Amy. <laughs> Hey, look at these. They must have been thrown away. <laughs> <laughs> you look really grown up. Hey, I've got an idea. What? See? Now we look like a grown up. I can't see anything from in here. Now we're a grown-up, we're big enough to help. Or make rude noises. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't be silly. Or we could eat whatever we like. Hey, yeah! I know. Let's go to the cafe and have ice creams. Mum says ice creams are for special treats. She'll never know. Anyway, it's all right if you're a grown-up. OK. Come on. Oh. Bye, Pumpkin. Seen anything, Jess? Meow. Oh, where can it be? There's Rosie again. What's she got? Rosie? What was that? Something fell down there. It sounded like metal. Well, I'm not getting it. It's probably full of spiders. Come on, let's get the ice cream. Morning. Lovely day. Yes. Sunny. Pardon? Uh, sunny? Sorry, in the hurry. Oh, right then. Nice coat. Just like the one I used to have. Morning. That's a nice scarf you've got there. Thank you. I had one like that myself, but it, uh, 
Uh, oh, oh, bye, bye. Hello, Alf. You didn't find a small parcel up at Thompson Ground, did you? Nay, nay. Sorry, Pat. Oh, dear. Bye, Pat. It's no good. I've looked everywhere. It's just disappeared. Oh, dear. I won't be able to mend the rocket without it. I wonder if that gentleman's seen it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes? You haven't seen a small parcel lying around anywhere, have you? Rosie was eating a parcel earlier. That must have been it. Oh, yeah. Uh, over there. Um, over there? Can you show me? Uh, yeah. Was his tummy just making funny noises, Pat? Meow. I think it was, Ajay. And I think I know why. Is this it? Yes. Did the parcel fall in there? Yes. Right. I can't reach it. My arm's too big to fit. Here, let me try. My arm won't fit either. This is terrible, Pat. If we can't get that part, I won't be able to mend the rocket. If only there was someone here with smaller arms. Perhaps they could reach down and get it. Tom, we've got to help. But we'll be found out. I know, but it's the grown-up thing to do. Tom? Katie? Huh. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hello, Pat. We'll help you. Uh, Watch out for spiders. Uh, Ooh. Got it! <gasps> I got it! Oh, thank you, Katie. Now I can mend the rocket. Well done, you two. Now, why were you in this funny disguise? We wanted to help people, but everyone kept saying we had to be grown up. But then we were... We decided to have some ice cream at the cafe instead. Well, you were very helpful to Ajay today, weren't you? Yes. And you didn't have to be big to do it, did you? No. So maybe being twin size isn't so bad after all, eh? No. I think I like being the way I am. Me too. With Katie on your shoulders, being grown up is really hard work. Come on, let's get you to those ice creams. Meow, meow. Meow. That's a large crate, Ajay. Who's it for? It's a special delivery for. Amy Rigglesworth. I better phone Pat so he can deliver it. I wonder what's in it. Hmm. Dad, will you teach Bill to ride his two-wheeler? He can't do it properly. Julian, I'm not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me hold that bike, Bill. Now, on you get. And pedal. Go on, go on. There, look. You've got it. Oof! Oh, no! I just can't do it. Yes, you can. You must never give up. Come on, have another go. Well, OK. Good lad. Pat, that was Ajay on the phone. There's a big parcel come for Amy. Can you go and fetch it? Yes, of course. Keep practising, Bill. OK, Pat. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Mum, can we go to the green? There's more room for Bill to practise down there. Of course you can, love. 
Here's back with his van now. Take her up. Whoa. Stop. Bring her down. Uh, right a bit. And uh, whoa. Oh. That's not going in, Pat. It's got to, Arthur. It's too big. I can't not deliver the post. Come on, Sarah. It's easier when you haven't got stabilizers on, you know. That's Julian and Bill. Come on. Would it go on my roof, do you think? You haven't got a roof rack to put it on, Pat. That's no problem. Leave it to me. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Julian. I like your bike. <laughs> I'm doing it. I I'm doing it. Sorry, Bill. You do look funny. Can't you ride a bike yet, then? That's funny. You're older than us as well. So? I can't help it. I'm... Oh, I'm going home. Don't go home, Bill. And the next time you see me, I'll be riding me bike. You'll see. What? Huh. I didn't say anything. Much. Mama. Emma. Nails. Nails. Right. That's got that fixed. Good work, Ted. You can let the parcel down now, AJ. Coming down. Well caught, AJ. Wow, did you see that? Yeah. Ooh. What's happened to you then? I was trying to ride my bike and I fell in puddle. Oh dear. Why don't you have a practice in the yard and when I get back from the post office, I'll help you. I won't be long. Thanks, Dad. I'll show that Sarah Gilbertson. I'm not giving up. I'm just not giving up. Who would like a snack? Thanks Thank very you, much, Misha. Misha. Thanks, love. Oh, you've taken the stabilizers off your bike, Lucy. I just learned to ride without them. Bob's taking bite off soon. Just a minute. That's the answer, Ted. Eh? Hey? Stabilizers. Oh. Aye, I've got you. Look at that, Jess. Our own trailer. Thanks, everyone. The post is on its way. Bye! Bye, -bye. Um, what shall we do now? Let's follow Dad. We can go across the field and meet him at Amy's. Good idea. Let's go. Again, I'm not giving up.
Let's take the shortcut, Jess. This is bumpier than I thought. Oh, no! Three. Dad! Dad! Are you all right? Yes, we're both fine, aren't we, Jess? Well. My parcel's going to be late, though. Bill's dad's got a big tractor. Maybe he can pull you out. I'll go and get him. Good thinking. Thanks, Lucy. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Yeah. Let's try and get this van back up the hill. gone down to the post office. Oh, no! Can you ride your bike down to the village? Can't you go? My front wheel's coming off. For Pat? Course I can. Don't worry, Jess. We won't give up. Well. Oh, no. I can't do it. No. Pat needs me. Don't give up, Bill. Yes. Meow. Let's try again. Meow. That's three stamps and an envelope. <laughs> oh, goodness me, Bill. Whatever's the matter? It's Pat. His van's fallen down a hill. Oh, no. Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. We're on our way. <laughs> in time. Well done, Lucy. Right you are. Looks like we'll make it after all, eh, Jess? Meow. Hooray! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Who wants 
Sarah. Oh. You'll be all right. Oh. 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 Just don't oh. give up, that's all. I must say I'm keen to know what's in that parcel after all the trouble we went to. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> oh, no. It's got wheels. Oh, no. If we'd only known, we could have towed it here without any bother at all. What's it for? It's a trailer for taking sick animals to hospital. I've been wanting one for ages. Thanks for helping to deliver it, everyone. It just goes to show, you should never, ever give up. <laughs> Look out, Sarah! <laughs> oh. It. <laughs> I've done it! I can ride a bike! Look! <clears throat> this is what you've all been waiting for. The Greendale Village Super Go-Kart Race. Yay! You can push your cart or pull it or pedal it. Or use the wind. It, yes, if you want to. But you can't use engines. It's in the rules. Oh, hey, dear. Come on then, Lucy. It's time we got building. OK. There's only one cart going to win this race, Mira. And that's ours. OK, Dad. Hey, farmers will beat a lot of them, eh, Bill? That's right, Dad. Can we build a go-kart too, Dad? Please? I don't see why not. Yeah! <laughs> we can use these old buggy wheels and these pedals from Julian's old bike. And Jess and me can sit in this old box to drive it. <laughs> We've got to put all this together first. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh. Are you all Ow. right, Dad? Ouch! Ooh. Anything I could do, Dad? Give me that big spanner, will you? That's more like it. Now. Not yet, Mera. Leave this to me. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Come on, you're nearly there. And let it go! Ah! Hey! Oh. oh, dear. I'm not very good at this, am I? We could do with Ted to help us. Borrow one of Ted's electric engines, then we'd go really fast. We can't do that, Julian. It's against the rules. Nobody'd know, Dad. Electric engines are really quiet. Yes, but it's cheating, isn't it? Besides, it wouldn't be fair on the others, would it? No. My Ted Glenn Super Quiet Electric Garden Watering Machine would be perfect. If only I could stop it. Hello, Ted. Oh, hello, Arthur. Uh, could we, uh, could we go inside for a chat? So, what can I do for you, Arthur? I was wondering if I could borrow one of your new Super Quiet Electric engines. Police business, you know. Oh, aye. Uh, all right. There's just one thing you should know, though. I'll bring this back as soon as the race is over. Uh, I mean, uh, as soon as I've finished with it. Yes, but I... Uh... Thanks, Ted. Bye. Oh, uh, right. There. One go-kart. Perfect. Are you going to tell him, Mum? Or shall I? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, why won't you stop? Hello, Ted. Hello, Archie. Oh. What can I do for you? I need a... Can we go inside? See, Dad, the driver's feet have got to reach the pedals. And they don't. Well, in that case, I've got an even better idea. Thanks, Ted. I'll bring this back the minute the go-kart race is over. Uh, I mean, as soon as I've finished with it. Yes, but there's something I've got to tell you about me engines. It's... <whistles> oh, oh, hello, Alf. Hey up, Ted. I'm looking to borrow some of it. A wind sail? That's right. When the wind gets up, right. you'll go really fast with this. And it looks like it's getting up now. Hey, look at that. Thanks, Ted. See you later. You should turn that thing off, Ted. It's flooding the place out. But I can't turn it off. That's what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah! Hooray! Dad's really bad at making go-karts. So's mine. I wouldn't mind if my dad would let me help him, but he won't. My dad does everything and all. Building, driving, the lot. We should have made our own go-kart. Then we could all have joined in. <sighs> what? That's a great idea, Lucy. And I know just the go-kart we can use. Come on! <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want... To have our own kids' team. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Nice one. Great idea! But won't you need a go-kart? We've got one here, Dad. It just needs, um... A bit more work. Oh, I see. Yes, I think you're right. I'll sort it, Mr Clifton. Oh, me! Come on! Come on! Oh, can't we do anything? We'll be the backup team, love. Spanner. Spanner. String. String! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Greendale Village Go-Kart Race. It's a two-lap race, which means the carts will go around the village twice. Is everybody ready? Ready? Aye. Affirmative. Start in line, please. Hurry! Can't do no more with that. Good luck, everyone. Kids make their own cart, did they, Pat? Yes, not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Got an engine, has it? Oh, no, Ted. That's against the rules. Oh, is it now? On your marks. Get set. Go! Come along, Julian. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Get out of me way. Stop! Hey! Oh. oh, 
wish they'd listen to what I was telling them about me engines. Engines? Aye, ah, Pat. All them carts have got electric engines in them. And there's no way of stopping them once the race is over. What? Where are they going? I was right. They can't stop. And Greendale Crag is in that direction. Oh, no! What's happening? Why can't we stop? I don't know! Look out, we're heading for Crag. Dad? Sorry, Julian. No time to explain. Uh, can I borrow your go-kart? Uh, yeah, of course. It's not fast enough, Pat. The wind's getting up. We can use my wind sail. Let's go. Good luck. Them. There's our chair. Oh, 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 this is not happening. It's just a very bad dream. We've got to catch him before he reaches Greendale Crag. Keep going, Dad! Oh. 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 Oh, no. Are you all right, Arthur? Yes, thanks, Pat. <gasps> I did keep trying to tell you me engines wouldn't stop, but you just wouldn't listen. So I'm sorry to see you that although three very fast carts crossed the line together, none of them won the race because they all had engines, which is against the rules. So the winner of the Greendale Village go-kart race was cart number four, raced by four brilliant children. Yeah! Helped by Sarah, Jess and Pat. Yeah. Well done, Julian. I told you cheating's a bad idea. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Let's have a big cheer for the winners. Hooray! Hooray!